Let me do a face for the uh, the thumbnail. Um. That was stupid. I'm not going to use that. Hi. I'm going to start stronger than that. All right, Brooke, you got it. Okay. Hello. I'm Brooke. This is my channel. This is my Disney Sing It microphone. And this is my problem. I don't know how to draw figures. I don't really know how to draw anything. There's a chipmunk. I should know how to draw figures. I am very into theater. I'm very into sewing. Reason would have it that I am into costumes and I'm into costume design. I also make my own clothes on the occasion. I should have worn something, anything that I have made, but I decided to not do that because um, it's a learning experience. And I got this skirt recently and I wanted to see what it looked like with this sweater. And that's why I'm wearing a, a sweater in the summer as well because I just wanted to look cute. I completely forgot what I was talking about. I, yeah, I love fashion, I love costumes, and I want to be able to visualize what I'm making. I'm not an artist by any means. And there are, there are artists that take, that take years to perfect figure drawing and like rendering costumes and fashion sketches, but I, I'm just uh, built different, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much master it um, immediately right away. I think because I have some YouTube videos that I queued up, and I'm gonna watch them, and I think I'll probably get it from there. I'd love to go in depth and tell you everything that I need to learn, but it'd probably be easier for me to show you. And there'd be a transition. Uh, here is my notebook my pencils and eraser uh that's a pen and i thought to spice things up i would try using some oil pastel and also with me i have the coveted limoncello lacroix <sighs> let's get into it uh the first thing in here is Christian Dior spring summer 1951 dress that I liked that was I think in the Met archives. Um, as you can see I did not attempt hair or face because I was frightened. This is I didn't want to do homework one day so I decided that I would design what I thought would be good for little women costumes. This is Joe. Uh, no face. I don't want to draw a face and I think that's, you know, I think that's my right as an American. I think that I don't need to draw faces if I'm bad at doing it. My portions, you know, they're fine. The torsos are really long because I myself have a really long torso. The feet are really tiny. Uh, I did attempt hair on these because it's, it's pretty easy for this. It's still all pencil. I did not attempt to color it in because I wasn't going to ruin what I actually had. Uh, Amy, as you can see, this is one where I started trying to add more detail as far as the actual costume went. I don't know how to draw like these little puppy sleeves and like trim. This is such a small sketch. I guess I didn't want to do Meg. <laughs> now we're moving out of um, imaginary little women in, into The Monster's Daughter. So The Monster's Daughter is um, a musical that I wrote. Um, this is Cassius. He is the titular monster. Still too scared to draw men's hair, which is really cute. These sketches are just getting smaller and smaller because I'm hoping that will hide the uh, details that I can't do. This is Annalise, the monster's daughter. This is Virginia. I think that she's probably the best sketch, as you can see, have yet to draw a face. This isn't horrible. I can't draw shoes to save my life. So I would say shoes, hands, faces, hair. I'd say shoes and hair are probably the most important that I need to learn because that is actually a part of the design. This is not bad. Like, I drew, I drew a face. Anyway, this is... Okay, now I'm actually going to start drawing something. I am actually drawing a dress that I had sketched during class. 
I thought I would try it again, but like better. The way that I start my sketches is to just draw a body, like an, a naked one. Uh, it's not, not naked, it's just, you know, a basic figure. I tried drawing this one on an angle. I, I don't know why. And then I draw clothes on the figure. And now I'm going to ask you to remember the sketch as is right now. Because as I have been alluding to, it does not stay like this. I start adding the pastels and I very quickly realize that I do not have this under control. So I, I utilize my eraser to the best of my ability and then I just move on from the hair. I color the skin and shoes. Once again, I'm, I'm, I am humbled by how little I have control over this art medium. I, I honestly commend it for having its own vision. This is the sketch we ended up with. Sorry, I have to turn off my One Direction compilations because I'm getting distracted. Could be better could be worse. It's a good starting point. After doing the initial drawing, I did, I like tried again to use the pastels, which were maybe a mistake, um, but I think they were mainly a mistake because the drawing is so tiny. I did not mean to make it so small, um, but I tried again to draw the bottom of the skirt and I drew it bigger and it looks significantly better and it's also more like stylized. So I think more focus should be on making the clothes um, communicate what they should look like. It just needs to give me a outline for what needs to be made. Now I'm gonna watch a bunch of YouTube videos. So the first video I watched was from Bernadette Banner and she had a lot of really good advice that probably should have been obvious. For pose references, references are indeed hugely important. You shouldn't rely on your memory or imagination to recreate the truly accurate figure. I think that I had a lot of pride because I felt like it was cheating to look at a reference. I don't need to be actively looking at someone in order to draw them, but I was wrong. So I downloaded these pictures of ballerinas offline it's because Bernadette definitely knows more than I do and I will do whatever she says I need to do. Oh, and it is also, in my own biased opinion, very important to learn how to draw faces. <laughs> no! I don't know, Bernadette. I don't know if it can be done. It can be done. Just draw lots of stuff. This comes with lots and lots and lots of repetition. The next video I watched was by Bourgeois Design. It's really helpful if you need like specific instructions on the proportions of a body. I certainly did. These are some sketches that I did after having watched that one. Um, the last one I just drew of my mom during church, but my goal was to accumulate as many sketches as I could and then just color them with watercolor because I'm tired of being original. So I just watched a video by Jess Carp, I believe, and she's an actual artist, so actually helpful for me who just lacks fundamental skill. She taught these like drills to just practice figure sketching really quickly. That was a minute? Oh my goodness. Which I desperately need to do. So I'm going to do that. I am listening to a playlist that I made to drive somewhere that I never ended up driving. So this is the playlist. I really can't read it. So the first round of sketches you're supposed to do in this exercise is to sketch a figure in one minute, as fast as you can. And I, it didn't occur to me how fast one minute was on that first sketch. But once I grasped the concept of time, I was able to get out of my head and just simplify the body down to 
a few simple shapes. Uh, then my mom came in to express to me further the fleeting nature of time and how we ought to spend it while we have it. You get so caught up in being creative that you'll forget about people. So make sure you make time for people. Then I ignored her and went back to being creative. What I will say this exercise, I wouldn't recommend doing these drills because they're super helpful, but two, I recommend filming yourself do them in time lapse because I have never felt more like an artist than watching myself do these progressively better sketches at the speed of light. So having learned some fundamental skill, I took to doing some more sketches and eventually worked on watercoloring all these sketches that I had gathered. Needless to say, I was very pleased with the outcome of this exercise. I'm gonna speed run all of these uh, like watercolor things that I have. Uh, this is the first one I did. I think the figure itself is, is fine. I think the watercolor looks pretty nice. I still refuse to give up hope on the oil pastels. I think that's my real problem with this one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, oil pastels were once again a mistake, but watercolor itself is fine. This is another one based off of those ballerinas that I did, and I like it a lot. Um, I liked it better when it was a sketch, because his legs look kind of funky and they're all black, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. I like the pose itself, and I like how lanky I made it. This is the only one that was, like, a genuine, like, design that it wasn't fully based off of something else and I drew the, the pantsuit and I kind of kind of love it and I don't care what they say about it washing people out I think redheads in pink is really fun and I like it a lot and I really like the design of this pantsuit I kind of kind of might make it so only if you want to see me make this pantsuit because I kind of love it I really wanted this one to turn out well and it kind of did so I'm definitely going to hang it on my wall uh, when I get back to college. And it is Mr. Darcy walking across the field in the uh, Pride and Prejudice, the one with Keira Knightley. I am so proud of it. <laughs> this is definitely the one I'm most proud of, though. Um, is this one. I think that the, the full picture is the best. And it was one I didn't base it off of a reference, I don't think, for this one. I had just been drawing these all in rapid succession and I came up with I went with this pose and then I just did like a basic I don't know like 1830s bodice with a shorter skirt and I did like a sunset sky with the string lights and I I just think it's really cute <laughs> and I'm really proud of this one I definitely like I look at this and I feel like I didn't paint it because it's pretty dang good I think if I say so myself artists in the chat don't leave your opinion. I made her. I did one strand of hair across the face and then it looked weird. It looked like a mistake. So I just did all of her hair across her face. I think the background is a little busy, but I'm kind of starting to like it. I don't know why I gave her a sword. The reference, she had some kind of stick, something in her hand, and I said, I'll make it a sword. It's not a very good sword. I, the, the interior design here is uh, questionable, but I think it's pretty, pretty decent. The reference I used for this one was like, I think it was from an old sewing pattern and I really like this pose and I should use it again. Don't like his face so much. Kind of looks like David Bowie. Well, I just said I don't like David Bowie's face, which is really mean. And then last one I did, I'm probably going to give this to my friend. I ran out of reference photos and then I was like, what if I did the Harry's House album cover? It's not perfect, but you can tell what it is. And that's all I'm really asking for, I think. I also really like his outfit on the album cover, and I would make it too, but I don't really know how to make jeans. But I might make the shirt. So that's all the that's all the sketches I did. I'm overall pretty dang proud of them. Uh, and watercolor, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's really fun, and it was like addictive. Like once I did one, I couldn't just do one. 
But yeah, those are my those are my sketches. I like them a lot. I'm gonna put them up. Yeah, that's right. I was uh, I was filming this after the fact the whole time, and this is the outro. I think overall from this experience, I am very proud of what I did of like the progress that I've made and it may seem like I did this in like a few days which I guess overall labor time probably true but I just like spent so many days in the middle not not working on this at all and uh that's fine you know I worked on it when I could and the fact that I ha I did come back to it after my my breaks that maybe means something I get uh, I'm so excited just looking at the things that I, I, I did that, I did that. That's such a good feeling. They're not perfect, obviously. Like there's a lot that I could still learn how to do. I think practicing, like Bernadette Banner said in hers, was like the main thing I needed. My, my biggest strength in all this was just, just doing it like as if I knew anything. Uh, was to watch like one video and be like, oh yeah, easy. And then just go for it. That's probably, <laughs> It's probably my big strength is my my hubris if if you've watched to this point and if there's anything that you take away from this video i hope it's that i am amazing and i'm really talented uh but if it's not that um let it be that you can do hard things i know that that's like a cliche yes but that's because people who get easily discouraged people who are insecure like me, they need that reminder that like, you're allowed to try. I feel like a lot of learning is not getting new information, but it is getting permission to do the things that you already knew to do in the first place. We want permission to fail and permission to try and permission to keep going even after. If that's you, That's me giving you giving you my permission. Uh, being creative is a gift that I think we all have, even if we're not all in touch with it. More than that, we are creative people made by an infinitely creative God. We can all improve and we can all work and we can all overcome and we can all fail. Not that I did fail, because I'm perfect, but um, I hope you liked the video. I'm linking all the, the videos that I did watch in the description. Until next time, keep on trying, keep on failing, and maybe, just maybe, you'll learn something along the way. Bye, you guys. Man, I hope this thing was recording. <laughs>